All right, you guys, I'm at Debbie's house. We're looking at a, uh, a water cool fan coil. Um, it looks as though the heat's being generated by a boiler and the cooling is generated by the AC. Here's the AC lines that come running up, R22 lines that come over the basement and then looks like outside and then run along the back of the home over to the air conditioner that's over on this side. We'll get um, video of that. Here's the breakers here. We don't, they're not labeled correctly, so I don't know what breaker it is uh, for that, but um, you know, I'll just leave that out if something would have to change as far as the wiring goes, but I think we're actually going to be going smaller on the entire system, so it should be okay. So yeah, line set coming back. I got the return air duct here. Um, with the filter, this duct run, this duct runs all the way back and over and hits the return over in this spot. And then the supplies, there's uh, not too many of them, but pretty big. Got a 10 inch and an eight inch, two sixes off the front, and then another uh, eight inch off the back. Got dimensions of everything to see uh, about the new unit going into here. Um, and probably would wanna add some valves and some bleeders into this system. Uh, looks like there's one bleeder for the return here, but when you need to probably get one for the supply installed, then the lines just come back, actually come down and they hit the boiler. So this is um, supply coming out um, and coming over and hitting the unit and then return. But this is the, the boiler. I don't think this is going to be getting, we're not going to be replacing this. She'll probably do that down the road. She's just concerned about the cooling side of things right now, which is this unit and the AC outside. Here's the supply, got an S there, and then a return, an R up there for the return. Kind of safe drain coming down to the floor, 115 volt, um, and wiring just going back to the breaker panel over there.